Well, <clears throat> Brother Branham was planning on coming to the meeting and he's coming down and he had meetings in Tulare and then he's going to have them in Dallas and going to have them in Beaumont and Denham Springs and Louisville, Mississippi, then Birmingham, Alabama, and Tampa, Florida. See, there's about seven meetings across the country. And I was planning on intercepting him about Dallas and going all the way to Florida with him. Well, two weeks before he was due in Beaumont, Texas, I made an announcement to my little congregation of about 50 or 60 people. I said, now, if you come to church tonight, I want to tell you everything that I know about William Branham uh, so that you'll know how to invite the people to the meeting this week. And so that night they came and everybody was there and I was about 15 minutes deep and something was going to be about 45 minutes long. And I made this statement. I said, now, Brother Branham is the long windedest preacher you'll ever hear. But his meetings are worth going to because there's always miracles at every service. And about that time, the phone rung in my office. And a young boy that was living with us, Clyde Decker, went in and answered the phone and he stepped back up on the platform and interrupted me and he was as white as his white shirt. And he said, Brother Green, he said, this is Brother Branham on the phone. Now, Brother Branham's in Tucson and I'm in Beaumont, Texas, talking about him. And I told the congregation, I said, look, since I'm talking about him, let me go talk to him and then maybe I'll have something else to tell you when I come back. True words have I never prophesied. <laughs> I go to the phone and I, say, I pick up the phone. And I says, hello, Brother Branham. He said, hello, Brother Perry. I said, Brother Branham, do you know what I'm doing? I was going to tell him I was talking about him. And he said, yes, I do. I didn't say, you're kidding. You don't really know. I knew that he knew. And when I got my composure, I said, Brother Branham, am I wrong? He said, Brother Perry, I just called you to tell you to do all that's within your heart. And if you make a mistake, I'll call you. <laughs> now that, if you believe it, is a life-changing moment. Because from then until Brother Branham left us, every time my phone rung, But whether a prophet calls you or not, God sees everything you do. I could no longer lose my temper with my kids. I could no longer be upset with my wife without knowing that God saw it and he was able to show it to somebody else. And whether it ever happens to you or not, the truth is, is that God knows it. And it needs to change your life. 